Today our school is celebrating Internet Day. Internet Day? What is that? Today we will be taught about internet and internet safety. Dear kids, International Internet Day is celebrated on 29th October every year to mark the anniversary of the first internet connection ever made in 1969. So, let us learn about internet today. Internet is a network of millions of computers connected to each other worldwide. Internet enables millions of computers over the globe to share information and communicate with each other. Using the internet, we can send emails, photos, videos, messages to our loved ones. Internet nowadays is considered as the fastest medium for sending and receiving information. Internet is the largest information database. It is also known as NET. The Internet works through a series of networks that connect devices around the world through telephone lines, optical fiber and communication satellites. Users are provided access to the internet by internet service providers. Just as humans have conversations so that they can agree on things, computers have conversations to decide what they're doing. Those conversations are networking protocols. Every network follow these rules or set of rules called as network protocols to share data efficiently and to run efficiently. The set of protocols which the internet runs is called transmission control protocol or internet protocol. It is interesting to know how the internet was started. In 1969, the U.S. Defense Department set up a research experiment called Advanced Research Project Agency Network, ARPANET. They designed a network of four computers to exchange and share their data. Later, many universities were allowed to join this network and share this information. This grew bigger day by day. On 6th August 1991, the internet was opened to the public. In India, the internet services, also called as World Wide Web, started on 15th August 1995 through a government-owned company, VSNL. World Wide Web or www or simply web is a means of accessing and sharing information over the internet it contains millions of documents called web pages a web page is used to provide information to viewers including pictures or videos to help illustrate important topics a web page may also be used as a method to sell products or services to viewers the web pages contains text, graphics, video, audio, and links to other web pages called hyperlinks. To view the web pages of internet, access and traverse through these web pages, we need to have a software called web browser installed on our computer. Some popular web browsers are Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer To locate and open a web page on the internet, we need an address. The address of a web page is called URL or Uniform Resource Locator. We can search for web documents that are available on the internet by searching for their URLs. One of the most widely used applications of internet is searching information used by millions of users. We can search almost anything on the internet like articles, images, videos, songs, 
games, etc. The application that helps us search information on internet is known as search engine. A search engine is a software program that searches for sites based on the words that are specified. There are many search engines available these days. The most common search engines are Google, Yahoo, Bing, etc. Let us now look at some more applications of internet like email, social networking, video conferencing, chatting, collaborative working, etc. In earlier times, we used to send letters to our friends or relatives through post. Today, we have a computerized version called email, which has replaced the postal letter. Email is a service available on the internet where users can instantly communicate or exchange any type of information over email, for example, text, images, videos, animation, office documents, etc. with other users. An email reaches the destination within fractions of seconds regardless of its geographic location. Social networks are web-based services that brings people together to talk, share ideas and interests, or make new friends within a secure system. Social media sites contain content created by hundreds or millions of different people. Some common social networking sites are Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. A video conferencing is a mode of communication that involves exchanging audio and video at the same time between people sitting at geographically different locations. It involves the use of camera known as webcam as well as microphone. Images and sounds are transmitted through the internet. Some popular video conferencing applications are Google Meet, Zoom, Skype, etc. Collaborative working is an advanced form of an online teamwork in which the users can share their documents, etc. Some examples are Google Docs, Dropbox, etc. A chat is a text-based communication between one or more users in which messages are exchanged back and forth in real time. It is done using a chat software. Chat allows to exchange text messages as well as voice and video messages. Some popular examples are WhatsApp, WeChat, Snapchat, etc. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.